Morning pals, I just thought I'd show you my latest haul of a mushrooms. So these are all field mushrooms. Um, I picked them yesterday in Sussex and they're really nice these ones. I've become fascinated by local uh, fungi and so field mushrooms are some of your safer ones to get. Um, they're very distinctive, so look at the size of this one here, just back next to my massive head. <laughs> so they start off, um, let's show you a small one. So they start off very small like this, with a closed cup. Um, and then as they begin to open up and crack, uh, let's see if I can find one. They have, have like a pinky sort of colour to the gills, um, which gradually, as it gets older, starts to brown a bit more. And then eventually when you got the size of this big, big bad boy here, on quite a dark colour. They're quite close, the gills here. Um, and again, that one's gone more of a creamy colour, had a bit of a bite out of that. Uh, so on the edge here, I've noticed, they have like, let's see if a younger one shows it a bit more. They have, it's almost like a sort of feathered effect on the edge. Um, if you can see it there, maybe. And they're absolutely delicious. The smell, um, that one's quite pinky, look. Is that my trees? These are potatoes. These are my first potatoes growing on the, um, I think they're only gonna be tiny. Uh, yeah, they have a very familiar mushroomy smell that you're used to from a, a mushroom you buy from a shop. Um, so yeah, I mean, they're fantastic having use them as you would with any type of mushroom dish. So I'm obsessed with them on toast at the moment, garlic mushrooms on toast. Um, one of the other more poisonous ones, well, these, these are fine to eat and I've been eating loads of them. Um, but there's one that looks quite similar, which is called a yellow stainer. And with a yellow stainer, let's get one here. When you scratch the top of the mushroom, you get a very bright yellow colour coming out. And they're not deadly poisonous, the yellow stainers, but they look very similar. And um, yeah, they, they can give you a really nasty stomach um, upset, but nothing too dangerous. So you've got to be very careful with this sort of stuff. I, um, I spent a long time learning uh, over the last few months before I kind of uh, dove into it. And I found some more that are a bit more exciting. Here's my... Uh, my uh, <laughs> boxing pad that was gifted to me by a kind uh, customer of one of my dogs, Little Nels. Um, so, what was I going to say? Yeah, that they grow in, I found these, as the name suggests, field mushrooms. I found these um, in, in open pasture where there was sheep. And they were growing in sort of, in, in like a ring. Um, once you find a couple, you tend to find a load more. Um... As with any mushroom picking, you should pick from the base. Um, they have like, this particular type has like a little tiny skirt on it. Uh, see if it's more pronounced on that one. See there? And the base of the mushroom... Oh, there's nothing too much there to talk about. So yeah, um, there's loads of them out at the moment, at least there is in Sussex. And as far as I'm aware, this is kind of peak time to get them. They're not the most exciting mushroom in the world, but they're really tasty. And yeah, that's it for now. What shall I call myself? The Foraging Fool? Yeah, that'll do. From the Foraging Fool to you, over and out. <laughs>